Hey guys, it's time to make that video, that epic comparison between the Microsoft Instagram 9 RC versus the Google Chrome 9 Stable. So I'm just going to do some tests here and see which browser is the best at the moment. And yeah, I know this is going to be my video. I mean, uh, I mean, some people, yeah, please don't hate on this video if your browser didn't win or something like that. But I'm just going to do my own tests and you know say what I think is the best browser and stuff like that. So let's begin with the acid free test. There I got 95 out of 100 in in 9 RC and I got 97 out of 100 in Google Chrome 9. So that basically means 1 score to Google and 0 to Internet Explorer 9. Then we have the Internet Sun Spider test. It's a JavaScript benchmarking test for browsers. So let's see which one is the best. Okay, so here we go. So um, I think I'm going to do this test three times. So it's going to be very interesting to see which one is the best on JavaScript with the Epic Sun Spider test. Yeah. Take some time though. That's good because I got a lot of time. Because I can upload videos hours so hours and hours long to YouTube if I want to. Okay, so it seems like the Integral 9 RC is finished. And I got the score of 543 milliseconds to run this full test. And I got 513 milliseconds in Google Chrome 9. So yes, this Integral 9 RC, it's, it's a really bad boy. It's really trying to beat Google Chrome. And we're really trying to be better than those Google engineers that's making Google Chrome. Um, but it didn't win this time. Let's try it again. Let, let's give it to 9 one more chance to beat Google. Run again. And I know I shouldn't be running these two at the same time. But, you know, it gets more interesting if you do it at the same time. Because they have to compete against each other. So which one is the best? Is Microsoft best with their, you know, suits and you know when they dress up to these meetings and they have all of this money comparing to Google Chrome, which only got engineers working there? No. But it's gonna be interesting. Okay. Five hundred and twenty-three milliseconds in Intel Core Nine. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I got five hundred and twenty-three milliseconds in Intel Core Nine RC, as you can see here, and I got five hundred and twenty-two milliseconds in Google Chrome. So they win this time as well. Oh my God! You were really close this time. You were really, really close this time, but you couldn't do it. Come on, man. You can do it. Let's try one more time. Come on, man. You have one more one more chance to beat Google Chrome. Come on. You, I know you could. I know you could do it. If you, just, if you just try hard, you know, try a little harder. Come on, man. I know you could do it. Okay, take some time this time, but this is going to be nervous. It is in this run, I'm going to be better. Oh my god. Okay, 590 milliseconds. 590 milliseconds. Oh my god, they failed. Three times in a row. I think Google Chrome is better on JavaScript, at least in this benchmarking thingy. Because as we can see here, Intel Explorer 9 RC got 590 milliseconds this time, and Google Chrome got 508. But it was a close game, it was a really close game in this JavaScript benchmarking result. And, and I think it's kind of funny that they were, you know, only 1 milliseconds behind Google Chrome, but they just couldn't do it because they are, you know, Microsoft program software and then I tried to run the peacekeeper browser benchmarking test and the thing is the fun thing is that I failed in the both Google Chrome 9 and Intel Core 9 
because I mean I'm not sure if this web app is failing if the future mark guys is failing because on the last you know string operation thingy this thingy pop ups and say Unex an unexpected error occurred please try again and then when you try again obviously this message pop up again so it's kinda like a classic fail thingy but yeah so I haven't run any more tests but oh yeah I have one more test I tried out the hard restoration with the fish tank test from Microsoft and I mean I'm not even going to try to run that test because my, my computer is probably going to freeze when I'm going to run the test but the funny thing is that English Pro 9 is very good at hard restoration so if you love that then you should really use that really use English Pro 9 because with 1000 fish you get around 30 FPS so that's kind of insane because in Google Chrome 9 you get around 4 FPS 3, 5 if you're lucky so yeah that's my basically my quick test so that means that Google Chrome 1 yes Google Chrome 1 with 2 against 1 2 1 that is the final score to Google so yeah see you